Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to implement a local gravity system for this spaceship. So as you can see here, now I'm just freely floating in the space. But once I enter the ship, let me go inside. So as you can see, ship is also in some manual. But once I enter the ship, now as you can see here, my character get adjusted to the ship's uh, relative up vector so that I can just walk inside the ship just like I would uh, walk in, in uh, under normal gravity but this gravity is relative to the ship's up vector so here if I again exit the ship here yeah, character is again uh, floating in the space so that means now we are free from the local gravity of the ship so this works along with the planet gravity system that means if i quickly go here into the planet uh, i'm not gonna go in the game itself because it might take time i forgot to spawn foliage here okay now here if i play now as you can see, now my character is under planet's gravity. So I can put the foot on the jetpack and go around. But if I turn off the jetpack, now I'm working on the gravity uh, planet under the effect of the planet's gravity. So I'm actually in this place where in angle. So what I wanted to show you is the system is working all together with the local gravity and the planet gravity and also the character can float in the space so those are the things that we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel for the membership of the patron page you can download anything without a limit once you became a member so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below Okay, so this is where we stopped our episode as of the last time we worked on the spaceship. Uh, so actually I have this uh, main engines automatically turned on. Let me quickly turn them off because I need to polish them later on. But for now, let me just deactivate them. they are distracting for what we are going to work today and also let me open by default the door okay let's keep it open right okay nice now uh, if I play the game this is how we get started and even if i go inside the ship nothing is happening see so now uh, first thing i want to do is here inside the ship i'll add a new collider uh, local gravity I don't have a better name at the moment so let's make it large like this and what I'm planning to do is once the character go inside go through this collider the character will have uh, the local gravity enabled okay so for that here on component begin overlap now on the other actor we need some kind of a function to enable local gravity but at the moment we don't have such a function so let me open my character and I already have 
few interfaces implemented here gravity listener so we implemented this interface when we work on the planet gravity system now let me add a new function i'll call it enable local gravity so we need an input also here local gravity center so this would represent a some some point in the space that would act as the center of the planet in the local grab for the local gravity but there is no actual planet all right now let's go back to the character oh one more thing i'll also add another function disable local gravity okay now here let me add here uh, the new functions we added enable local gravity event okay now i think we would need new couple of new variables so here we have already used planet gravity let me duplicate that and i'll name it use local gravity and also let me duplicate this instead of planet center i'll call it local gravity center okay now here when we get the uh, enable local gravity i'll make the use local gravity true and also i'll set the local gravity center with what i get here okay also i think i have to enable use planet gravity variable as well here because um we need to start immediately responding to gravity and i'm planning to reuse some of the functions that i already have written to the planet gravity system to make the local gravity system and also here i'll implement disable local gravity so so here i'll simply uh, set local gravity I'll make it false and set planet gravity set use planet gravity also false but we have to be careful with this because if we have already landed on a planet we need to check first if we are under a proper planet's gravity if that is the case we should not make this uh, false so but let's revisit that later just remember that okay now from the spaceship uh i added this to enable and also where is it let me duplicate that local gravity disable I'll add it over here so this will disable gravity mm. and component begin overlap so here for the enabler other actor enable local gravity we need to give a gravity center here disable local gravity all right so the gravity center how do we calculate this so in order to simulate a gravity so as i said we need a point that represent the center of the planet so to calculate that i'll first get at the location and then also i'll get at the up vector and to the actual location I'll add some far point 
below the ship so if I multiply this by a very large negative value so I don't know let's put something like this should be enough so that's the planet center the imaginary planet center and I'll give it as the local gravity center right okay now let's go back to our character and here so there are a couple of things that we need to change first let's see the places that I use planet gravity okay here okay first thing is this check gravity field function so here now this is how we determine whether we need to simulate planet gravity or not we simply check the planet center uh, the distance from the planet center to the actor and check if it is less than gravity field radius if that is yes that means we need to simulate gravity so here now we get another condition or if this condition or if we have to use the local gravity in both cases we need to enable gravity okay now the rest of the code here is actually designed to use only the planet gravity I haven't thought about I did not thought about local gravity at the time so here we call this function in, in a time update uh, gravity bp that function so that function let me open it update gravity bp okay so here we update the gravity direction but here we are using planet center now that we have local local gravity center we need to choose if uh, let's choose it like this let's do a select no from here select if we are using local gravity if we are using local gravity uh, I will use local gravity otherwise I will use planet center to calculate the gravity direction and also we have this update up vector function which I call in the take let me check is that the place I call now oh, here I'll update up vector and align actor so yeah so here also now we need to update the up vector so again here I have to select planet center or the local gravity center based on if we are using local gravity if that is false use planet center otherwise this okay compile I think that's all I have to update. Let's test. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something is wrong. I think I have true by default, yeah. That's the issue. It should be false by default. Okay. Let me play. And go inside yeah now we are properly working under ship's gravity and if i exit i don't think i will go automatically into the flying mode see i'm falling so what i can do is uh, for now here i'll call toggle flying function this is a function that I have already enabled already implemented I can call it also I'll try C 
set in some anger to the ship so that we can test that too so once we are in the ship we can press control to land on the floor we need to call, hold control to land on the floor that's the way I have implemented it yeah, see now once I exit we are floating oh, in the space all right so things are working so here I do that and also call this check gravity field function once I disable this so that this will if I am already on a planet that function will uh, automatically set the state back to falling so that I will be I can work again on the planet surface so yeah that's pretty much all I think I have to do so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye